Hey, y'all. Hey, <laughs> it's Cassie. I wanted to hop on um, because I've had some people ask me, are you still doing that candle thing, that wax thing, that scentsy thing? Yes. The answer is yes. So I figured if people are asking me that, that means I need to hop on and kind of show you guys my face. It's been a while. I know. Um, I say this, that it's been a wild ride for the last couple of months. It was super, super busy with releases coming like every other week. So now that I get a chance to kind of breathe and slow down, I kind of want to go over some products that we have. Um, I'm going to pick one of the top ones. Um, hopefully I'll start doing this uh, a couple of times a week so you guys can all see them. But one of my biggest products that I get the most like questions on or um, I guess inquiries is the air purifier. Okay, so I'm going to show you my air purifier. I pulled this one out of our bedroom. Now you can kind of see there's a little light on. That means it's filter time change. So I figured I would bring on my air purifier so that y'all could see how I change it. And a little bit about, like, I'll give you guys some information, but the air purifier is amazing. Guys, I have two in the house. I have one in the living room and one from our bedroom. Now, our house is dusty. And the reason why it's dusty is because we don't have carpet. So, you know, it's great to be like, oh, I don't have to vacuum all the time. Guys, <laughs> if you don't have carpet, all the dust particles in the air and everything can be moved around on a daily basis. So it becomes very dusty very fast. So when I got the air purifiers, it definitely helps with my allergies. Um, now, I do not have any pets. I have, uh, there's just three of us that live in the house. Uh, I have seen some of these filters get a little crazy because of the pet dander. Um, because it takes, it just, ugh. <laughs> it just attracts all of that, the, the hair and the dander, and it goes through the filter. So our filter is a HEPA H13 filter. I wrote it down to make sure that I would remember. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Um, after using this for a while, um, I'm going to see if I can get kind of close and see if y'all can see some of the dust. Let's see. Well, maybe it's not going to show. Oh, you can kind of see it there. You see kind of like all... All of the dust accumulates on the outside. So one thing that I do, because, you know, me, I've worked around a lot of electronics. Um, I've worked in so many different companies that we had um, our a computer set up. And so I always have canned air, guys. This is what I do. Now, I'm just saying what I do because I like everything clean and tidy. And if I'm going to be pulling this out of my bedroom, I want to make sure I wipe everything down. So where is my... Oh, I didn't grab one. Okay, well, I can just use this until I figure out. I normally keep a... Oh, there it is. I always have a, like, a little washcloth, a dirty washcloth that I use for my dry erase board in my office along with anything else. I'm literally just going to wipe off the outside and then I'm going to air blow it. So, again, it has the light on. So, it is filter changing time. But I want to go ahead and I just wipe the outside. And I wipe the top, the bottom, all the sides, just to get the extra flowy stuff, all the floating around stuff away. Okay, so here it is. Um, all right, so you unplug. Okay, so you unplug it. Here's the plug. Oops, better hold that here. You flip it over. Okay, so we're flipped over. This is the bottom. This is the top. And there is a little lock and unlock here. So you just rotate it. I'm doing this. There we go. And it pulls out. Okay. So now it is open. I pull out my filter. You can see there's quite a bit of dust on here. All right. So let me grab. Oh, I didn't grab the new one, did I? Hold on. I'm not completely prepared. Hey, if you guys are jumping on and you're watching, please just tell me hi. <laughs> Let me know that you're here. Okay. I got my replacement air purifier filter. 
Um, but yeah, let me know that you're here. Um, it's a little bit different doing this on my regular Facebook than it is in my group. Uh, so I don't know if I'll, but this is, I literally go through and make sure all the extra dust is off and you can kind of see some stuff floating around. So it does, because it's pulling in all of the air, I always want to try to clean this before I set up the new one. Because anybody who's worked with electronics, especially computers, you know that it doesn't matter how clean the area you keep, it's going to accumulate that dust. Okay, so it is now empty. We have it upside down. I'm going to get the new one out. All right, here is the new filter, and then I'm going to compare it so you guys can see. I always keep the bag because I put the dirty one in here and put it in the box and throw it away. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two. This is the used one. This is the new one. You can see the difference in the colors. So let me put this in here. Okay, so I just put it in the bag as the dust is flying around me. I put it in the box and then I toss it. So again, this is a HEPA H13. Um, it does 99.95% of airborne particles, such as uh, as small as 0 0.3 microns, including dust, pollen, mold, and bacteria. So these replacement filters are like $35. I always get them in my Cincy Club for half off. Um, so seventeen fifty. Uh, that's the best part about having Cincy Club is I can get some of the bigger stuff that I need on a regular basis for half price. All right, so you just put it back in. It literally just doesn't matter. There's no top or bottom. Doesn't matter which way. Then you put the top back on. Make sure it goes back to the unlock spot. Let's see if I can get close enough. The unlock spot, and you literally just turn it to the lock. Okay? Unlock and lock. Flip it back over. Now, you're going to think, that's all I got to do. It should be done, right? We put the new filter in. Okay. So we put the new filter in and I turn it back on, but look, the light is still on. Now, why is the light still on? Because it hasn't been reset. So this is what you do. You press and hold the power button. Oh wait, it has to be on. I'm so silly. You turn it on. <laughs> I always forget. You turn it on. You press and hold. It turned all of it off. Now watch, guys. No light. So that means it has been reset and it is ready to start cleaning the air. So I'm going to show you a couple of the features. So that was our on and off. This is our power, so on and off. This one right here gives you um, intervals of how long it stays on. For me, I keep it on 24-7. So mine lasts about three months, two and a half to three months um, when I have to change these out. You can set it to where it runs for eight hours and it will turn off four hours or two hours. Then you have a fan, high and low. So you can have it running on high all the time. You can have it running on low. On auto, it will change it when it detects um, particles in the air. The last one is the light. So if I turn this on, but I'm ready to go to bed and I don't want the light to come on, I can turn this off. It's still running. It just doesn't have the light on the outside. Now, you're going to ask me, you just say that, how are you supposed to know if it's cleaning your air? So this is the only way I can do this temporarily. So look, watch, I'm going to use my vape.
It turned red and now it's in high. And it is going to clean the air around me until it's done. So for me, because I don't want it going up and down all the time where I can hear it or it wakes me up in case it gets dirty in the house, I turn this down to low. So the red light is still on. It's still cleaning, but I put it in low mode, so it's always just kind of doing a low hum. Um, and again, I turn... Oh, see? The red light is off. It's back to white. And then I always keep the light off. So this is how mine looks like. Ooh. This is how mine looks like all the time. There's no light on. The only time I notice the light is when the filter needs to be changed. So this is our Scentsy Air Purifier. Now, I have tons of warmers for the house, so I don't put pods, but this does take the pods, and what it does is it sucks the air in here, it pushes the clean air out up here, and you can put the pods in here so it'll scent your room. Guys, this is amazing, and there is a huge deal I can do this month on the air purifier. So if you're interested, you just got to let me know. But tell me what you think about it. Let me know what questions you have um, if you're thinking about it. I have not been able to find one that is this quality for the price that Cincy has it marked at. So you let me know. Uh, this is what we got, the air purifier. And I just showed you how to change out the filter. All right. Um, and again, guys, yes, I am still with Cincy. I'm still an independent Cincy consultant. I love this company. I am never going to leave. Um, I do have a VIP page for all of my customers. So if you're not currently in there or if you're wanting to check it out, let me know and I'll send you an invite. There are a couple of questions that you have to answer. We just got to make sure we keep all those scammers out. I also have a business page. So Cassandra Bollinger, Independent Sensi Consultant, along with a YouTube channel and Instagram. Again, Cassandra Bollinger or Cassie Bollinger, Bollinger will, if you search that name, you'll find me all over social media. So let me know what stuff interests you today about the air purifier. If there's another product that you've been wanting to know, all you got to do is send me a DM, drop a comment down here, and I'll be more than happy to do a little presentation, a little video, how to. I can send it directly to you or I can post it live. That's what I got for you guys today. Um, I love you all. I'm about to go live in my VIP group because we have a little training coming up on the first weekend of February and I got my stuff. So I'm going to open it for all of my customers so they can see. Um, that's what I got, guys. I love you all. I hope you have a blessed and amazing Friday. Uh, it is, it's a wonderful world. That's all I got to say. Friday 13 don't mean anything to me. So, all right. Love you all. Talk to you soon.